I'm going to do this video about Twin Flames, even though I don't know that much about them, and I could probably research more and everything, but I know that that's like a popular thing that everybody's kind of talking about, going through, or whatever, and it's like, I know who my Twin Flame is, or I'm almost, hell, I'm like a thousand percent certain I know who my Twin Flame is. And apparently, even though it's a female, she's the divine masculine, and I'm the divine feminine. That's the way it's coming across. Now, there for the longest, it was coming across like maybe I was the divine masculine and she was the feminine because we were, like, mirroring the hell out of each other, and it was, like, in its dual senses of everything. And it was driving me freaking insane. And so I was taking on the more masculine approach to... to to like a degree because that's what I thought I was supposed to do that's thought what I thought like who I was in the scenario in the situation and everything but I'm gonna do this video about twin flames because I know within me that that's what the hell's going on and I know within me that I'm going to eventually be with this person and so it just pisses me off kind of that we're not together right now because it's like Dude, you're kind of fucking everything up. Like, can I be mad at you? Please, because you're fucking everything up. And it's like, I'm into watching tarot readings. And I'm kind of into astrology a little bit, you know, but not like real deep. I'm not real, like, deep studied into anything. It's like, I know the surface level of just about everything to a degree. But, um... Anyways, I know this person's my twin flame. Like, just the way that we feel when we're together. And even her getting so mad and trying to be like, I don't feel that way towards you. Like, and there was even this one tarot reading that, like, um, I forgot who it was. I think it was Sal that I watched. But, um, <laughs> anyways, uh, they were sitting there and in her or in my reading, and they mentioned her zodiac sign and everything, they're like, this person is acting like a child. And you know how children are whenever they're just, they're not in the mood, you know, and you're like, you want you want this, you want candy, you want a toy, and they just, no, no, no. Because, like, say you woke them up and, like, pulled them out of the car or something, and so they're sleepy and they're cranky. And so anything you try to offer them, you know, to make them feel better, you know, they're like, no, 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 I don't want that, no, no, you know, and they're just real bitchy, and <laughs> that's pretty much kind of what was going on with her at the time, and I was like, oh my god, that is so totally her, <laughs> like, and, uh, then, like, I'm trying to, <sighs> I'm trying to let loose, I'm trying to let go, I'm trying to just, not let go of the title of it because I feel ultimately that that is exactly what this is. I mean, I don't know. I just feel it inside of me. It's like everything inside of me is just... It's like I, the only way that I get uncertain about me and her being twin flames is my own thought process in dealing with the fact that we're both females and I've never been with a female and even though I've thought about it I've never been with one and even though I've only thought about it like a few times like now there was this one girl that I was crushing on really bad when I was in high school and I actually had a dream about her and in the dream we were dating and we were girlfriends for a really long time and she was strung out on drugs, and I wasn't, but I would baby her and take care of her, like, whenever she was strung out and shit, and she came over one night to spend the night at my parents' house, which she had done a lot in our long-term relationship, and one time she laid down, she went to sleep, and she didn't wake back up, and so that scared the shit out of me, so I was like, yeah, there's no way in hell I'm even gonna try to go after that and go after dating her because I don't want her to fucking die and so to make sure that she's not gonna die like that I'm not gonna even attempt to date her like so I just let it slide <sighs> but anyways this other 
person that I'm dealing with now that I'm certain is my twin flame and everything. It's like I've met her, I've seen her occasionally over my life, and I think I even paid for her to eat one damn time when we were kids out at the fucking mall, like, and I may have even gave her and her friends some damn money. I can't remember in full detail because when shit happens like that in the past, like, it's just irrelevant to me to a degree, and to a lot of people, it's actually very relevant. And that is one way that I just do not get along with people. It's like, um, for instance, I have a lot of people in my town that I live in thinking that I'm a complete, total fucking moron because they're like, hey, you know, that that's all they'll say. They won't even say my name. They won't even acknowledge that they know my name or that they know me through my parents, through my sister. And instead, they'll just say, hey. And so I'll just say, hey, back. And... Sometimes I'll recognize their face the first time I see them. Sometimes it's like, after I see them a few times, I'm like, I know you. And then I'm like, wait, how do I know you? Oh, yeah, you're friends with my sister. Oh, yeah, you're friends with my parents. Oh, yeah, I remember this. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And like I've said before in one of my other videos, it's like my short-term memory sucks ass. You know, it's just horrible. And my long-term memory is actually pretty fucking good, and it's to a degree so damn good that... I kick myself in the ass for it sometimes because there's a lot of shit that I wish I didn't remember. But then that's another thing too, is like being raised the way that I was and everything, my mind kind of sets more on negative stuff. But um, I really tried to get the fuck over that because I'm really tired of feeling sad all the time. But anyways, um, people will be like, hey, you know, blah, 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 you know, and I'll just... Uh-huh, you know, and I'll kind of not let them know that I know them. And they, they'll they do the same thing to me. Well, then they'll go and, like, talk about me behind my back and be like, oh, my God, she didn't remember who I was. And so everybody thinks I'm an idiot because they think I don't remember them. And the thing is, is I do remember you 98% of the damn time. Most of the time, I don't want to remember you because if you've not been somebody really substantial in my life, then I don't care, you know. And also, like, most of the time, people want to ask me how my family members are doing. And I find that an irrelevant, stupid question. Because if you really cared, then you'd pick up the damn phone and call the person instead of asking me. So, that that's my personality on the ship. But anyways, back to the whole twin flame thing and all that. Because I'm going to get really sidetracked because I get really sidetracked anyways. And even at that, I thought about writing down on a sheet of paper before I shot this. I might regret it or I might look back and be like, oh shit, I didn't really know nothing. But anyways, and I thought about writing down so that way I wouldn't get sidetracked of like studying, reading more or whatever. So that way I'd stay on track and that way it'd be a better video. But right about now, I really don't give a shit because I'm just in a shitty ass mood. Call me lazy because that's about what I'm being in all honesty because I'm tired of stressing so much and everything. But this girl, like, the only way I can word it is she makes my heart happy. Like so freaking happy like it's pathetic kind of but not it's pathetic in a cute way I guess you'd say and um like I just I don't know but it's like I know she's my twin flame like I can feel it inside of me and it's overwhelming and overpowering and confusing and blindly confusing like got me so screwed up like I don't even know left from right right about now I mean I do but I feel like I don't because I'm just so it blew me out of the water I guess is the best way to word it like it just hit me like a ton of bricks I mean and then trying to get her on the same page and it's like you know how you can look at somebody or something and you can see the greatness in it and so, like, I can look at her and I can see that if we would have been together when I tried to come to her with the opportunity, like, that that's like I told her, like, I asked her to move in with me. 
and I asked her to move into a place that was rented from my same landlord. And I was like, you know, I can talk to my landlord and kind of plead. That way we can have your cats, because she has cats, and I have pets already. And I was like, and we can work around it, and we can pay a certain amount of money, and, you know, and we can promise her we'll pay it by this date or whatever, however long it takes us to earn it and stuff. And I was like, and it'll be, it'll be great, you know, it'll be good and everything. And she's like, no, 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 you know, because she don't want to be in a relationship with me or whatever. And that's another thing, too, that she kind of like, I guess you could say screamed at me, but didn't. It was like a text message. But she was like, why do you want me to be in a relationship? Why are you pushing so hard for me to be in a relationship? And I was just like, damn, calm the fuck down, you know, like shit far. Like, piss me the fuck off, you know. But I was just like, oh my God, what am I dealing with here, you know? <sighs> like, you're driving me insane, you know. But, um, I figured I'd rather make this video now, even though it's really late. And I'm worried about people complaining about fucking hearing me and shit. Because we, we have a curfew here, which is bullshit. It's another bullshit thing about living here. But anyways, uh... I was all like, you know, we could live here together, you know, she's like, no, you know, and then I'm like, well, we could just live here as friends, because, like, legitimately, like, if you don't want a relationship with me, but I really fucking care about you, I will live with you, and that will be it, you know, I even discussed that with my kid's dad, like, at one point in time, I think, or else I just mentioned it to our daughter, I can't remember, but I was like, no, that's right. I mentioned it to our daughter because um, there was this house that was for sale. And granted, I didn't have the, like, credit and everything to, you know, do the mortgage to, yeah, have it in my name. But my grandmother's is relatively decent. And I was like, if you'll sign for the house, I'll make the payments. And I was like... You know, it's perfect for me and my daughter. It was a three-bedroom, had a big yard for the dogs and everything, and I was, like, legit on paying it. I done sat here and fucking just pay rent and just buy groceries and just go to work. I don't know what it's like to get out and have fun and party and do all this shit, and I've learned to live that life, and so I was like, I can continue living that life until I get the, you know, until I get a better job, until I get things more situated, that way, that's not the only money that I'm making, I'm like, but it's gonna be about the same that I'm paying in rent over here, the mortgages, I was like, so why the fuck not be paying on a mortgage, that way I'll eventually own it, and I was like, and even if the house is shitty, like the property, you know, like I can do, I can do stuff with your yard, man. <laughs> I was like, hell yeah, you know. And uh, I was like, come on, you know, and help me. And she's like, I'll think about it. Well, my dad fucking talked her out of it. I swear to God, like, uh, that's another thing. It's like, I know things that will turn out good and nobody fucking listens to me. Like, and it's like, it's not even in a control sense, because if it was, then the shit would happen. But this has been my whole 30 years of life. I can look at somebody and know, hey, if we do this together, it's going to be amazing. Like, I fucking know me. And I know what you're willing to put in, even if I don't know you 100%. Or I think I do, unless you're a lying son of a bitch, which is kind of the situation between me and my husband. Like, I was like, I'll put this into the marriage if you'll put that into the marriage. And he's like, yeah, I will. And I had a little bit of self-doubt with him. So that's me kicking my own ass right there with that shit and everything. But it's like, this girl, I have no doubt in her into what goodness she can bring and she can be. Just like I had no doubt in my grandmother and what goodness all that would bring and everything. But other people get involved and other people get all this shit talk and this negative and da 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 and everything and like I, I don't fucking know. Like it shit just falls apart. But anyways, uh, so I tried to get the girl to move in with me and she dipped on that. And so now here I am months later and I just woke up one morning and just kind of snapped because 
My landlord had gotten my face about a week prior, telling me that my home was filthy and just all kinds of shit. And, like, she's been one of those that, like, nags the whole time that I've been here. And it's just little side gouges, you know. It's nothing out of the norm, I guess. But I know that I can live in a place where I don't have to put up with that. You know, like, there's no sense in anybody having to put up with that, you know. And it's like even me hanging pictures on the wall. She's been like, oh, you think you got enough pictures on the wall? Like, as long as I'm hanging them the way that you said, it shouldn't matter. I'm using the fucking picture hangers like you said. So what does it matter? And just shit like that. And so I just woke up one morning like fed the fuck up. And I just let her have it, kind of. And I mean, I didn't like go ballistic and cuss her out, you know. Even though there's a side of me that's like that when I get mad. But I just told her, I was like, listen, we was never friends. We never got along. Da -da 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 and I will not be signing another lease with you if God permits it. And so now I'm sitting here, not on good terms, with the landlord and fixing to fucking move out when my lease is up. And I'm just like, see, do you see what you made me do? You know, kind of like, damn, girl, like, do you see what you made me do? You made me flush all this down the toilet. <laughs> you know, like, there it goes. <laughs> and I'm just like, damn you, you know? And that's the way it is with everybody whenever it comes to opportunities with me. It's like, I'm standing here ready. Like, I'm game. I'm ready for the shit. It's like there's this song put out by Holly Suspect called Human. Or I'm Human or something like that. And in that song, he says um, that he's ready for love and he's ready for war. And he's never been this fucking ready before, you know. Or he knows nobody's been this fucking ready before. And that's, that's me. I'm always ready for the stuff to happen when I'm ready for it to happen, I'm not bullshitting. Like, when I'm ready to marry you, I'm ready to marry you. When I'm ready to date you, I'm ready to date you. When I'm ready to be your mother, I'm ready to be your mother. Like, I didn't sit here and have my kid and was like, oh, shit, I'm not ready to be a mother. Even though I was young and everything and I got pregnant accidentally, I guess you could say, kind of. But I done had weighed all the options and everything, you know. And I was like, I don't want to... I, I want to build a family with this guy. I want a kid with this guy. And if we have one, then hey, so be it. You know, and we did. And I'm grateful, you know, even though she's not at home right now. But back to the whole twin flame thing. It's like, I know that's what this girl is for me. And so I've just got to sort that out along with everything else that I'm going through. And I don't know how amazingly I'm going to be able to do that because my life is done so damn stressful. I done have so much healing and shit that I've got to sort out through on my own. But then again, not. Because that's the thing that makes me mad with her or with anybody that I try to depend upon. And so I guess you could call it being codependent. I have no fucking idea. But it's just like, for instance... There's times that I lay in bed and I'm like, you know, I know if I had somebody laying here, just laying here in bed with me and their arm draped across me, that I would wake up in a fantastic mood tomorrow and I would get this, this, and this done, but instead I'm laying here alone, nobody gives a shit about me, and tomorrow I'm going to wake up and I'm going to barely be able to do anything and pull myself together and just make it to go to work. <laughs> like, that's my life. And that's always been my life. And it don't have to be. And it's not going to be anymore if I can fucking help it. So even if this girl is my twin flame. And even if she's not ready for me. And even if she keeps putting me off. And that's the thing too. Is like, the tarot readings that I've been watching here lately. They're like, oh, she's going to come around, you know. For as far as her sign. And she's going to tell you the truth and all this and everything. And I'm like, holy fucking shit, it's about God blessed fucking time. Let's go for it. But then there's the other twin flame readings that's like, oh, you know, divine feminine, you need to let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, just let go. You know, move on. And um, again, I'm going to mention her again. I watched uh, XOXO Goddess talking about twin flames today. 
And she said that uh, she, uh, what is it, her divine masculine isn't ready. And so, like, she's went off and, like, she's dating somebody, you know, because she's like, you know, I'm not going to sit here and fucking wait on you anymore. Like, you, you, you need to grow, apparently. So you go over there and you finish your growing and I'm over here whenever you come to, you know. And it's not even like that. It's not even like she's waiting on him. I mean, like, say she's in this relationship with this dude and, like, she f has real hard feelings for him. And then her divine masculine comes knocking. She probably going to look at him and be like, dude, you had your chance. Like... Maybe you'll have your chance again if I get single again, but right now I'm in a relationship over here. Sorry, you know. And it's like, that's a, what I'm about tempted to do, but then again, not because I know if I sit here and if I kind of push myself, I guess you'd say, to date somebody because I'm lonely. I mean, hell, I ain't been with nobody in five fucking years. So yeah, I'm lonely. If I push myself to fucking date somebody... I'm going to feel like shit whenever I do break up with them. Or I'm going to feel like shit even if me and them stay together and say I stay with them due to some type of twisted guilt or some shit. And in the back of my mind, it's like I'm, you know, I'm in love with her. You know, it's like I don't, I don't think I can do that to myself. And so I'm sitting here and I'm like just wanting to pull my fucking eyeballs out of my damn socket and throw them up against the goddamn wall and just, you know, bleed to death out my fucking eye sockets and just be like, I give up, you know. Because I'm just so friggin' tired of waiting on everybody else and I'm waiting on my twin flame, you know. And I just can't. Like, I just, I don't know. And then uh, I looked up a few videos right before I'm shooting this about decision making. And it's like, oh, to make the best decisions. Because that's one of my things that I struggle with is like being indecisive. Like, I'm not as indecisive as I seem to be. Like, whenever I talk about it, like, people, you know, like, if somebody was to listen to me, they'd be like, whoa, holy shit, she can't make any decision. I can make decisions, but 99% of the time when I do finally make a decision, and it's something that I was contemplating, like, you know, really hard on and everything, like, <laughs> I'm just kind of like, any, meeny, miny, mo. okay, we're going with you, because I'm, I'm not standing here dealing with this, like, I gotta make a decision and run with it, I gotta go, and that's just like even me shooting this video, there was part of me that was like, no, make this your first, like, real legitimate good video where you sit down, you get a sheet of paper, and you write down, okay, twin flames. What do I believe about twin flames? Did 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 you know? And just, and I'm killing myself even doing that, did 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 because I noticed I do that a lot when I talk. <laughs> but, uh, anyways. <laughs> but I was like, that's what I'm going to do. And then I was like, fuck, no, I ain't. I'm too damn tired. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm being lazy. And then I was like, shit. And then I was like, oh well. And then I was like, well damn it. You know, like, I have the right to be lazy if I want to. And to a degree, I really don't want to. But I'm so exhausted, like, with the way my life has been. I'm just tired as hell. And um, that's the thing in the videos that I was watching, you know, about making decisions and everything. It was like, um... What was it? How'd they say it? Fuck. Oh my god. I can't even remember how they worded it. Oh, you've got to make the decisions that you logically know are like the best decisions or whatever. Like you've got to make the best decisions. In this one video, this guy was like, you know, say, you say, shoulda, coulda, woulda, you know, or something like that. It's like, oh, well, if I walk, it's going to be better for my health. I should walk because it's better for my health, but then you don't walk. And he's like, you're making the wrong decision, you know, and stuff like that. And I was like, holy shit, he's right. Well, then if I take it that far into thought process and everything, I got to thinking about, you know, how this twin flame, you know, is a girl and I'm a girl. And how she kind of threw off on that, even though in one of her previous videos or whatever that she had with a friend that she had up or whatever, she was talking about 
her being gay, you know, and then, like, I don't fucking know, like, she wrote me a text message one day, and she's like, I told you, I'm not into that anymore, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, and I was like, oh, I know what the fuck you're talking about, you're talking about being gay, you know, you're talking about being with a female, you're not into that anymore, but, yeah, you, you were, so, even though you didn't, con like, give me confirmation that you've been in a relationship with a girl, you know, and everything, now I know you have, and then later on, she even gave me confirmation that she'd been in a relationship with a girl, so it's like, okay, honey, you're gay, you're gay, and her family or somebody has taught her that being gay is like a huge sin and that she should spend the rest of her life alone if she's going to be gay, you know, so that way she won't go to hell and all kinds of shit. And I'm just like, who over there, you know, like, I'm not trying to be cocky and everything, but it's like a, when I was younger, I had a febrile seizure and I died and so I, like, I seen Jesus, and he took my hand, and he was walking me up the stairway to heaven, and it's almost like I talked to him, and like, like, I just looked at him, like, and it's not because I heard somebody's voice or anything, I didn't hear shit, it's like I just looked at him, and I was like, I gotta go, and he's like, why, you know, and, or he didn't even ask why, he just stood there. You know, and it's like we weren't even talking, like our mouths moving. It's like I was just talking in my head to him. And I was like, I gotta go. And I was like, I gotta go. And nothing from him, you know. And I was like, they need me. They need me. I gotta go. And I just let go of his hand, turned around, and ran back. And I was like, there was like a part of me that was like, I'm so sorry. Oh my God, am I doing the right thing? It's like I was my own negative thought in my own head of what negative thing he could have said to me. He didn't say shit. Like, it was nothing. Like, it was almost like he was smiling as I was coming back. Like, I know you got to go back, you know? Like, I hadn't served my purpose or what the fuck ever. So anyways, I'm not sitting here saying that I was sent to the earth to date and marry this girl so that way everybody's like yes gays are permitted by jesus and the right and everything because i don't have christian 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 bible book damn person living right next door to me and they're all about yeah i got gays in my family you know but they're like, oh, the gays go against the angels and da 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 and da 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 and that's the reason being gay is a sin. And then every time I've tried to talk to her about the way that I feel about this girl, it's like, she just don't get it. <laughs> she just don't get it. <laughs> and it's infuriating. And, like, so I wouldn't argue with her. I would just sit there and listen to her. And it's like, the more I listen to this woman talk about this, you know, the more I was like, maybe she's right, because she was feeding on my doubts of me doubting the girl caring about me, because the girl's lack of action towards me, for as far as contacting me or anything. Who feeds on your doubts? Like, in all honesty, think about it. Who feeds on your doubts? The good people or the bad people? And I'm not saying that this woman's bad, but I'm saying her feeding upon my doubt. Is that a bad thing that she's doing or a good thing that she's doing? It's a bad thing. Anybody that feeds upon anybody else's doubts, they're doing a bad thing. Doubts are not a good thing. God did not put us on the face of this planet to doubt ourselves and to doubt our purpose and to doubt just because somebody told us to. Like, and I don't see how the hell people don't get that and everything. So maybe when her, me and this girl get together and everything, maybe it will prove to some people, you know, that God loves you no matter what. All you've got to do is you've got to want to have him as a as a priority or as your source or as your top 
notch in like I don't even know how to word it like he just wants you to pick him like that's it like if it's lined up between him and the devil he just wants you to pick him that's it and some people are like oh well, it's, you know the devil you know for as far as like being with her and the fact that she's a female and everything there is going to be devil energy, negative energy, however you want to word it. There is always going to be something negative, something bad in everything. I mean, that's just the way it is. That's, that's the way the world keeps its balance and everything. And how older people have missed that concept and they cannot grasp it is beyond me. It's like beyond me, beyond me bad. Like, I'm not the most intelligent. How oh, shit, I just bit my tip on my tongue. <laughs> but I'm not the most intelligent person in some aspects. But it's like, this is a knowledge that I have inside of me that other people need to fucking learn. And, I mean, that's all there is to it. But anyways, like, this girl's my twin flame. I'm happy when I'm with her. She's happy when she's with me. Like, it is what it is. And if I can help it, like, if she'll stop being so damn stubborn for a minute and just talk to me, it would, it would benefit us both a lot. And, God, I'm just so in love with her. Like, it's driving me crazy. Like, what good would it do for me to sit out here and date somebody else and I'm in love with her? Like, that's the reason I wouldn't date anybody for the longest. Because I used to be so in love with my kid's dad. Like, I don't know. But I'm just tired of being sad over the whole shit and trying to sit here and trying to grow and trying to figure out all the things that i got to do. So, I don't know. So, if you're on a shitty kind of, but not, because it's kind of good, twin flame journey, know that you're not the only one. If things are confusing, things are confusing. If the other person's not responding, the other person's not responding. Everything is what it is. It happens at the rate that it's supposed to. It happens when it's supposed to. You just got to learn to let go and follow the flow of everything and hope and pray and all that good stuff, supposedly, and everything. Like, I don't know. I just, I suck at overthinking, like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. Like, I come within a hair of getting drunk today because I don't go to work until later tomorrow night or later tonight, but, uh, I was like, no, that's not good for me, that's not good for my body, it'll make me, you know, have a issue with my stomach, and possibly get a stomach ulcer, and I was like, no, I'm not gonna do that, so I picked the, the lesser of evils, I guess you could say, I should just, just sit here and eat a bunch of junk, but, you're not always going to be able to have the best of the best. You're not always going to be able to have perfection. And that's the thing, like, with me and her and me wanting to be with her and her being my twin flame and the fact that we're both females and everything. If that's the flaw in our relationship is that we're both females and that's the only flaw, like... I can deal with that easily. And I'm sure she can too. And I'm not even looking at it like that. But I'm saying for the people that like don't get it. And don't get how it's not like the worst thing ever. And we're going to be condemned to hell for it. Like fuck you. Like look at your marriages. Look at your relationships. How many times did you cheat on the person? You know? Or how many times have you had, like, 
issues that are really far gone for as far as like in the bedroom or whatever and shit like and y'all can't talk about it and so instead y'all sit there y'all screw around on each other or how many men are violent and beat the shit out of their wives you know or how many men sit there and molest their fucking children you know and stuff like that and so like this girl even though I have a kid already and she don't like kids I don't see her going out of her way to be mean to my child. I don't see her getting jealous of me doting on my child like my husband did. Like, my husband used to get so pissed off at me. He'd be like, you buy her more stuff than you buy me, or you buy her more stuff than you buy yourself, or whatever. And I was like, because she's my baby. <laughs> and I was like, and I haven't had a job all these years, and now I do, so excuse me if I want to kind of lavish her with some gifts or whatever. And he's like, yeah, but I see you doing without stuff that you want, you know, you buy for her. It's just what the fuck I do. <laughs> like, get the fuck over it. And so I started buying him more stuff, and then he acted like I was supposed to completely stop buying my kids stuff and just buy for him. And I was like, dude, calm down. But I wasn't even working. This was his money. So I would, like, sneak and, like, try to hold back money or whatever. That way I could buy him things and surprise him. And then he'd be like, how would you pay for this? I'd be like, uh... Remember when I told you that this cost that much and that cost that much? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, well, actually, it only cost this. And I kept $20 or $40 and held on to it. That way I could buy you a gift, you know? Like, so I guess I was manipulative. But it was for a good reason. Or at least I thought it was. But, um, anyways. I just, I really love this girl. And I wish she'd quit digging around and, like, playing with my feelings and hurting my feelings and her and her people. Like, I don't even know. Like, I sit here sometimes and I'm like, holy shit, is she fucking married? Is she married to some girl? Like, because that's another thing, too, that I've thought back on, like, dealing with our past and everything. I'm like, is she, did she marry somebody? Is she married to somebody? And then I'm like, or has she been dating them all this time? You know? And, like... They've been in a long ass relationship, and so she she wants to be with me, but she don't because she's used to being with them or whatever. Like I don't even know. I don't even know, man. I just know I want to be with her, but I'm gonna end it here, I guess. So, like I said, you know, if you're going through some twin flame bullshit drama, whatever, you know, and you're feeling all kinds of fucking lost and just tore the fuck up, and then your person ain't helping you none, because they're being a stubborn little shithead, is the best way to word it, and you know damn good and well that you are, you know, and I'm not trying to be an asshole, I'm trying to be honest, you can call me what the fuck ever, you can call me an obsessive, and, uh, fuck, I don't even know, but anyways, <laughs> like, you're being stubborn. And then, uh, that's another thing, too, that one of the tarot readings talked about or whatever was like, oh, they're being manipulative in the fact that they can actually do more than they're acting like they can. I fucking know this, okay? This girl has a car. She has a vehicle, okay? She can hop in her fucking car and bring her ass here any fucking time that she wants to, and she just don't fucking do it. And then here I am. My fucking dog's been missing for a month, and I'm like, really? You ain't even gonna help me find my damn dog. And I'm like, fuck you, you know? I'm like... Okay, we see how much you care about animals. And there's a part of me that's really mad and like, you know, if your fucking cat went missing, I'd be like, mm hmm, you know, no, go look for it. Here's a flashlight, you know, <laughs> like, I ain't helping you, you know, type situation because I get mean like that sometimes, but I doubt I would in all honesty, but, uh, cause there's a lot of apologies that need to occur you know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't even know, she's got me so tore up, like, I'm even sitting here, and I'm like, am I obsessed, like, I don't know, but I'm just trying to live my life. I'm trying to figure out things to the best of my ability. I thought of even making a video to send to my dad. Because 
we're like estranged from each other if under the circumstances, like me and my whole family, because they got my kid, and they won't even let her, like, freaking talk to me or anything, and I don't know. But I'm going to end it here, so if you're struggling, just know you're not the only one, and if you like my videos, please comment, share, like, or subscribe, even if you have, like, recommendations, criticism, but, like, from a kind perspective, like, if you're going to be rude as fuck, like, fuck you, like, I ain't, and even kind perspectives, like, don't expect for me to listen to it just because you said it, you know, like, because I've not had a lot of kind and encouraging words in my life from hardly anybody. So it's going to take a lot to like penetrate through this stubbornness, I guess you'd say. But if you like my videos, subscribe, comment, like, share, you know, and I'll catch you later.